here's the race I've been looking forward to, the 400 meters. Fred Curley set that collegiate record at the regionals last year. Quincy Watts still has the meet record. He was the Olympic champion in 1992. Nathan Allen has the best time in the country this year. But Michael Norman, he has the world indoor record at the distance. And who better to talk to him than ab about him than USC assistant coach and 92 Olympic 400 meter champion Quincy Watts. He has some pretty high praise for his star pupil. Michael has a unique curve right now, and he's ahead of everybody. It doesn't mean he's better than them all. It's just the things that he has, he has a little bit of everybody. He has Michael Johnson's speed. He has the stamina and, and the strength of a Butch Reynolds. Uh, he's, uh, and he has the, the endurance of Wade. So I think uh, right now at this particular young age, the kid is only a sophomore in college. I think at this particular age, he's, he has uh, more tools than all the uh, past quarter miles, and I think it, that's what makes him special. Dan, the thing that disappoints me about this weather today is this race. I think we would really see something special. I'm not saying we're not going to, but these conditions are not ideal for great 400-meter running. Well, here's a young man who wants to take it to Michael Norman. He said, Nathan Allen from Auburn, he said he was a bit tired after running two 400s on Wednesday. See if he can recover and put in a good effort here in the finals. Auburn Tigers have two finalists here. Watch for Akeem Bloomfield also in lane five. So Norman in four, Bloomfield in five, Allen in six. The good news is there's really, there's no win to speak of really in this race. And Bloomfield is out, Norman is chasing him. Couldn't have been a better lane draw for Michael Norman than to have Akeem Bloomfield right outside of him. Well, I think that fast start by Bloomfield, though, just does nothing but just tow Michael, Nor Michael Norman around. Very even right now between Norman and Bloomfield, and Allen is there, and he's got the strength to finish well. Okay, here it is. Michael Norman on the inside in fourth. Now past Akeem Bloomfield. It's going to be Michael Norman. Now it's a matter of looking at the clock. Auburn's going to go 2-3. It's Norman, Bloomfield, and Allen. 43-62, now 61. He breaks Fred Curley's one-year-old collegiate record. Who cares if it's raining? He also breaks the Hayward field record held by Michael Johnson and a, and a keen Bloomfield was also under 44 flat. And one more. That's the fastest time in the world this year. Well, we've just been waiting to see somebody really push Michael Norman. Michael Norman kind of stayed on the West Coast, and he ran a lot of races, and he won them, but nobody really, really pushed him this year, and this was just fantastic running. He just dug deep, and he always seems to have another gear when he needs it. And down the home stretch, he went to it, and it was there. I can't say enough about the race run by the two Auburn Tigers, both sophomores, both from Jamaica. They made that race for Michael Norman, and they were rewarded with outstanding times as well. But Michael Norman, as Quincy Watts said, is just something special. The number 11 all-time time in the 400 meters for Michael Norman. And look at his form, it just doesn't break. He wins the title. Look at the determination on his face. He was all business in that last 100 meters. God, he just has another gear that nobody else has. And for the effort, Akeem Bloomfield also rewarded with a spectacular time of 43.94, a huge personal best, and Nathan Allen in third at 44.13. That's a spectacular collegiate 400 meter race, maybe the best ever as we go downstairs to John. All right, thank you, Dwight. Uh, Michael replaces Michael Johnson as the fastest ever made one lap around here at Hayward Field. Fred Curley, get out, you're done too. You take us around that lap. Uh, you know, I think I was very calm, controlled, and composed throughout the whole race. Uh, I knew Joaquin Bluefield, great, strong runner, especially the first 200, so I knew I couldn't uh, let him get too far away from me. So I kept close contact, and him and Nathan Allen really pulled me through the second turn. And I just had to come home strong, and I heard Coach Carroll yelling, trust your fitness and go, and I just went for it.
Dwight, Dwight mentioned how much it would help to have those two guys out there. He's in the booth. You were on the track. How much did it help to have those two guys out there? Oh, it was a lot. You know, they really helped me uh, stay active and just, you know, push myself to the next level. So, you know, it's a great feeling, great times. So I, I really love it. We knew you had a chance to be undefeated for the season. We get to talk about that. When you're on the track, does that ever enter your mind? Uh, no, I think it's just uh, focusing on each race at a time. You know, I don't try to think about the future or the past too much. It's just about the present. So, You are entitled to a victory lap. I don't know if you want to hold off because you got the 4x4. Four four. Good luck. Oh, yeah, definitely going to go to cool down. <laughs> All right, congratulations to that young man. A huge future in front of him and uh, presently not bad either. The world leader at the 400-meter distance in the NCAA champion. Well, there was